Good morning, my name is Mark Harris. Here in the class on uh, how to get into a basic boxing stance. All right, so I have my assistant right here, Sean Weber. Sean Weber is demonstrating this. Okay, so the purpose of this is to get into a stance and know how to deliver a good punch, good balance, and good movement. Okay, so first thing to do, we're gonna start with the feet. So get shoulder apart, slight bend in the knees, relax your upper torso, slight bend in the hip, Lean back a little bit, because balance is a little bit off. So, back to me, here, here, here. Relax your body, hands here, chin tucked. Hands, even with the temples. That's essentially the basic box of stance right there. Now, one, mis uh, one misconception is the punch actually begins with the feet. A lot of people think a punch begins with the upper body. It actually does not. It begins with the feet. So if you see his feet here, a little bit off, I'm gonna correct that. Feel up here, sink a little bit, sink with your knees a little bit. There, and there. Now in this position, he can deliver a punch by pivoting on the back foot. Boom, weight distribution. Boom, there you go. That's a good boxing stance right there. It's even, if I come towards me, he can back up. If he comes towards me, he can back up. Angle of movement, side to side. Good weight distribution as you can see. Now, one of the most important things about this is when you deliver your punch, make sure you keep your off hand up. He throws a two punch, which is the uh, right hand. He keeps his hand up for a count. So throw it. You don't want to step through. You just want to push through. There you go. Just push through. And he pushes through. His off hand is up. So for a count. So it's like this. Push. I'm going to hook off. Like, don't, don't bring your hand up. So boom. His hand is automatically up for a count. Tracking that? All right. Now, so we went to the uh, the feet, the knees, the hips, and the hand placement. Also, eye placement is also a big thing too. One, people, one thing people think is when you look into another fighter, is you have to look in the face. That's actually the wrong place to look. The most important place to look is the waistline. The reason why it's the most important place to look because I can trick you with upper body movement, but I cannot trick you with my feet and hip movement. Correct? You want to track that? All right, so what does that mean? If my hips turn a certain way, that's going to let you know what kind of punch I'm going to throw. If my hips are going to open up like this, my right hand is coming. Hips open up like this, my left hand is coming. But if I do a lot of, of this fainting action up, up top, that can uh, lead you into the wrong position and get hit with a, a counter punch or a straight punch. All right, so now we understand the, uh, the basic stances and how to throw the punches. Any questions? Questions? 